Hola, let's look into this issue of The Inquirer. This is our April 1st, 2024 edition. So we've got our cover page here. Mayan Bialik's Jeopardy! Revenge. Then we have the Mitch McConnell M. Mystery, you know, with his uh, sister-in-law that mysteriously passed in a pond. And then when you have Jimmy Kimmel, most hated man in Hollywood. I'll agree. And then we have Chuck. Losing grasp on the crown, the tragic fall of the House of Windsor. So let's get into it, see what we can find out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Camille ditches Bill's ring. Who? Oh, Bill Cosby's wife. Pfft, whatever. <clears throat> She's probably just trying to save some of that fortune. Because I think we read last week that uh, Bill wanted to write a uh, biography or memoir. So anyhow, J-Lo ices out Sophia to save marriage. Tired of Ben drooling over hot tamale. Oh, because Ben Affleck's all flirty with uh, Sophia Vergara. I mean, I probably would be too. I can't imagine it's any kind of like wonderful thing living there with uh, J-Lo all the time looking in the mirror. Oh, I'm hot. Oh, I'm hot. You know, pretty soon we're going to have those octogenarian love stories about J-Lo. She keeps it up with the plastic surgery. I know she's, uh, what, how old is she? Sophia says 51. Oh, J-Lo's 54. I guess we'll have to wait a couple decades, but I'm sure we'll get those stories. Um, so let's just check in then. How's, uh... How's Ben feeling about his uh, romance, quote unquote, romance? It's not legit, in my opinion. And that's where I have to tell you, this is all alleged. For entertainment purposes only, this is not fact. It's a card reading. So how is the relationship between J-Lo and Ben? I guess recently Ben shaved his uh, beard off. People are saying, oh, he looks so much younger. Okay, I don't know about that, but we'll see. Cards, why are you being so messy today? Good Lord. Ben and J-Lo's quote-unquote romance. How is it going? Let's see if we can find out. Well, we're still married. For now. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Okay. We might be getting ready to end it. <laughs> Just gonna say, I'm thinking here, we might be getting ready to end it. Um, you know, we're consulting some therapist, I think, allegedly. We're consulting some therapist. We're revisiting what our legal contract document says about this relationship. Um, we're kind of staying away from each other unless we have to. Um, be in public together. We've already been down this road before about this relationship with each other. Um, she's definitely looking into a lawyer, I think, or he is. Maybe they both are. I don't know. Yeah, we're working on finalizing <clears throat> finalizing that deal to split up. Uh, Knight of Swords, uh, we got to figure out a solution to our problem. So, hopes. No. Oh. Emperor. This feels like they both want to make sure that they end out on top. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because <laughs> there's a lot of money on that table. Wow! Get your mitts off of my money. Fears. That we're going to have some problems moving forward when we split. When we hit the splitsville. Internal influence. Oh, God. You can't say one thing in that house without somebody having something to say. It's just drama. Oh, the challenge is it's a challenge. It's a burden living over there. Okay. So apparently Ben don't want to be on Jenny's block anymore. I mean, I don't blame him. It's always like one of those things. I've always like, I've looked at J-Lo. I have a weird fascination with J-Lo too, like the Kardashians. Um, and it's just one of those things where the character she puts out there seems like she would be fun. And then I'm like, yeah, but in real life, she's probably not fun. Okay. Let's continue on. Reba slams X as Doughboy. Okay, Florida Georgia line in the sand, don't care. Uh, Sean Hannity says he has no interest in jumping ship to Dr. Phil McGraw's rival right-wing network. Okay. Sharon Osbourne says nobody will employ her in the U.S. because they say I'm an R-word. 
Okay, Selena's guide to ex Justin, you can't touch this. Ooh, what is she with? That guy, I'm sorry, but he is not attractive. Benny Blanco, who is this guy? Old buddy, oof. You're Selena Gomez and this is what you pick? Ooh. All right, continuing on, I know, I'm a judgy wench. Uh, 450 million Seacrest, a huge screw, skimps on gifts and makes gal pal split the check. <sighs> like he's ever going to settle down. Okay, there, Rock Hudson. What? Uh, what a boob. Ava pumps up the volume to compete with busty babes. Okay, okay. Um, RFK Jr. is considering NFL quarterback Aaron Rodgers or... Former pro wrestler and Minnesota governor Jesse Ventura for a 2024 running mate. Both say they're game. Okay. Alrighty, let's check in on that. I am, so we know, I'm recording this March 24th. So who knows, things could change by the time this comes up. But is RFK Jr. considering Aaron Rodgers? Let's see that one first. RFK Jr. considering Aaron Rodgers. Considering it, okay, this is, yeah, he's considering it. It's like they've had quite a few conversations about this. We're looking at it from multiple perspectives. I like some of his ideas. I like some of uh, how he can market himself or get attention out there. I like that. Um, Definitely thinking about it, thinking this is an out-of-the-box idea. This could really work to bring in, I don't know who. Um, you might want to give him the job. He's That might be top of his list. That might be top of his list. Maybe. Let's see about, though, move this over slightly. Okay. Let's look into... Who's the other one? Jesse Ventura. God, I haven't heard about that dude in forever. Jesse Ventura. What does he even do now? Is Jesse Ventura a serious candidate for RFK Jr.? Hmm. That doesn't seem as firm to me. That seems more like a cabinet position. Um, you're in charge of the department of, I don't know, WWE. I don't know. It's just this feels more like it don't go well, but it feels more like a, trying to maybe put them in a, some other side position. Don't think so. Especially when we have Le Tower. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think Jesse Ventura is a serious contender. All right. Do we care about Kim Solsiak and Croy Bierman? I don't. All right. Continuing on. Mortified Madonna promptly apologized after blasting a fan for sitting down at a California concert after realizing the person was in a wheelchair. She's a dick. Okay. Fatal distraction. Douglas marriage saved by living separate lives. Oh. Catherine Zeta-Jones and Michael Douglas. Secret for saving their floundering or foundering foundering that's a new word to me 24 year marriage spending more time apart Catherine, 54 and michael 79 admit their may december relationship has had its share of ups and downs but oh yeah i forgot about it the fatal attraction star stud okay <laughs> battled alcoholism um tongue cancer and talk he was a s addict while catherine has been diagnosed with bipolar oh I'm starting to see how this came together. Okay. They split in 2013, but reconciled after therapy. Um, okay, so let's see what <laughs> is the secret to their... Uh, is this an octogenarian romance when uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones is so much younger than the 79-year-old Kirk Douglas? Or not even Kirk. Oof. Uh, Michael Douglas. Can you imagine? Let's hook up Michael Douglas with uh, Martha Stewart. Let's... Let's start a whole retirement home dating service for these people. 
Anyhow, <laughs> is this relationship, like, is it really safe because they stay away from each other? Like, what's the deal with their rela relationship now? I assume she's just with him, hoping she's going to get his money. I don't know how much money he's got, but the secret to Catherine and Michael. Money! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, she was promised quite a bit of money. I think she sees there's probably even more money to have after a uh, lover boy kicks a bucket. Yeah. Uh, I guess this is what they're doing. They're not divorcing. She's there, but she don't want to be around him too much. He probably don't want to be around her too much. Maybe he don't even know who she is. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they're satisfied with this. So apparently they do this. They do do this. I'm going to my house. You go to your house or whatever. Yeah. This is how they've decided, like, after they had all that therapy that worked, now they're like, well, let's just stay apart from each other. I don't really like you that much anymore. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have? Beal bottoms out on Jealous Justin. Oh, now he's jealous? Stop it. Long-suffering Jessica Beals turned the tables on her skirt-chasing hubby by posting some seriously sexy pictures. She flushed her booty on social media to celebrate her 42nd birthday. Wonder how much Photoshop or touching up there was on that. She's embracing her sexy side again. She doesn't seem to care what Justin thinks. Yeah, I think that relationship's over. We already talked about that one last week, I believe. Hoda goes wild. I don't care. Hoda seems like she's rather boring. Sleepless nights for Robin and George. Okay, we don't care. They're probably going to get canceled. All these people are going to get canceled. My Uncle Alex bigger bank for the buck. Court sitcom comeback after Jeopardy ouster. Not going to watch that. Party's over for Sore Sajak. Okay, let's get into something else. Low life, life gals, panties in a twist. Oh, this again with him and Paula. He's probably just a dirty bird everywhere. Um, Babs, bags, B-way, despite $10 million bonus. What in the world? I don't Broadway. Don't care. Frail Liza can't come to cabaret. Oh, Liza Minnelli, Minnelli, 78, found herself grappling with the reality of being too frail to attend the funeral of her beloved friend, producer Alan Lazare. Okay. Rats flee Andy seeking ship. Hmm. Staffers are quietly making exit plans in the wake of for a real housewife Leah McSweeney's allegations against Andy Cohen, including rampant uses of substances and, uh, you know, dirty stuff the rats are deserting the sinking ship they know who the real andy cohen is and have turned a blind eye when he was on top now they're running for cover a bravo big shot insists andy's production people respect him and equally he equally respects them however insiders whisper cohen's real problem in this his show's popularity has plummeted it's crazy but in television you can survive uh substance accusations but not bad ratings all right I'd already done a reading on Andy Cohen. I think he is going to be going down. Um, let's see if uh, all of his um, staffers are hitting the road. Yes, I think they are, and I think there's some more that might be reaching out to lawyers, allegedly. Cards. Yeah, this is a, a that like people are looking to see how they can get out. What's the best financial way for them to get out? But yeah, these people are ready to go. They had enough. Okay. Well, guess we're still on track for that. All right. What's this story over here? Monica Lewinsky. She's back in politics. She's gearing up for a return to the public eye with aspirations of carving out a new path in the world of politics. Uh, she's ready to reemerge in the political sphere, this time taking on leadership role. Monica's rep says no to the news, but Powell says she's considering both elected and non-elected government roles. She's not afraid anymore. Now it's time for Monica's revenge. But no victory cigars, please. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, I don't care. Continuing on. Was Mitch McConnell's sister-in-law, you know what, taken off the earth plane? We already read on this, though. So you can go watch that reading. Oh, what is this thing? Fierce killer Alaska pox is a bioweapon. 
Ugh, I don't even want to look at that. Billy and Sharon's Stone Cold Feud. Oh, God, this was like so, so weird, right? Sharon Stone's got, I don't know, a book. But she said that, you know, um, what's his name? Uh, Robert Evans. I forgot his name. That that producer said, hey, Sharon, you should hook up with Billy so you can practice before you start filming. What was that movie, Sliver? I think that was a sliver. I don't remember that being spectacular. But but so, yeah, she was just saying all this stuff about it. And then Billy Baldwin basically came back at her and said, I could say some stuff, too. So we'll see. Oh, here we go. Billy Baldwin. I mean, Alec Baldwin. Wrong one. Rust Armor's conviction gets under Alec's skin. Blowhard Alec Baldwin is on a rampage since movie armorer ha Hannah Gutierrez Reed was convicted of involuntary manslaughter. Now that prosecutors nailed Hannah, Alec is terrified and lashing out at everyone around him. He's always lashing out at everyone around him, isn't he? His poor wife and family are taking the brunt of it. Okay. Every time I've read on this, Mr. Alec, I don't get that he gets in trouble. But maybe energies are switching. They're changing. I don't know. Let's see. Alec Baldwin, do you have any reason to be shivering your timbers? <laughs> he has no place to hide. Oh, okay. Okay, here's... In the past... Here comes the sun. And? Mm. Interesting. There's a slight variance. It still doesn't look like it's a major um, penalty to him. That looks like we could have like, who was that? Was that Lindsay Lohan or... Paris Hilton or one of them that went to jail for like, I don't know, eight hours or something. They weren't in there very long. It's still a similar idea. It looks like perhaps we're looking at a penalty of like money's coming down the line um, that he's going to have to pay. But it's also like maybe we'll it's like token jail time. It doesn't feel like real. It, he's not going to be like going over to Folsom prison. I'm not seeing that. I still am not seeing that. It just feels like, no. So he can quake in his boots. That's, I don't think he's going to have to go for long if he goes at all. Oh, no. Charles losing his grasp on the throne. Fierce Windsor Dynasty will die along with the king. He's too feeble to save a crumbling 12-year-old British monarchy, which has been rocked to its very foundations by a seemingly endless torrent of scandal. Exhausted Queen Camilla jetted off on vacation. Princess Anne is said to have groused about taking on Camilla's duties. Edward and Sophia tried to shoulder some of the royal workload, and William's attention is on ailing wife Kate and other issues. Mm. Let's see. What's the future here? Poor sausage fingers. Don't call him that. I love him. He's my favorite king. Don't make fun of him. That's so cruel. <laughs> All right. Windsor Dynasty. The future of the house of Saxe-Coburg, whatever. Gothburg. Whatever their German name was. Anyhow. What's the future of the Windsor Dynasty? Or Dynasty. Depending on how you pronounce it. Knight of Wands. Mm -mm -mm. We're taking our action. They're still trying to fight for it. No. Oh. This is like trying to revive someone who's been gone for 12 years. There's a lot of gossip, innuendo, scandal, rumors bubbling in the background. Oh, it's crumbling down. Still exploring what we're going to do in the future. We got some goals we're trying to set. But yeah, it looks like we're out. Deuces. I, it, <laughs> is that even what kids say? I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, th this is going down. This is like, these people are done. Done, done, done. Don't say that. I love them. Okay, well, you can go love their 
memories until you find out their crimes. <laughs> oh. Anyhow, no, this is there. This is done. This is like already done. Alrighty, we'll have to do deeper reading on that. Let's continue on. Cheating chatter crushes Kate. Okay, William and Mary Rose Hanbury linked for a second time. Oh, oh, and Harry and Meghan have added stress to the royal family. Well, that's not news. Uh, Donut Gate is a slam dunker. Vegan bakery pro for reselling Dunkin' Delights as health food products. What in the world? Okay. Oh, what are we buying today? Dream big, granddaughter. Okay. I don't want to. Death risk for Tyson. One punch could pulverize him in his mismatched prize fight. Oh, yeah, he's going to fight Jake Paul. So Tyson's 57, Jake Paul's 27. Let's see how it's going to go. Let's do uh, Mike Tyson, Jake Paul. How's it going to go? Who shall reign supreme? As Mike Tyson's aging, it seems like his face tattoos have kind of like faded out, huh? Those used to be all like dark and scary and now he's kind of, unless he tried to get them removed, I don't know. Anyway, Mike Tyson, Jake Paul, how's it gonna go? Do five cards for each. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Uno, dos. Trace, Quattro, Cinco. I'm thinking Jake Paul might pull this off. Like, this would just be a fair matchup here. Like, we've got, here's the newbie coming in. Here's Mike Tyson, right? And he's, he's still, he's still got power. I wouldn't want to mess with him. Got ten pentacles, ace of wands, the nine of cups satisfied in the sun. I think that final thing goes to him because seeing things from a new perspective, like almost like, eh, maybe I shouldn't have agreed to get into the ring. Um, I'm kind of fat and pudgy now, happy, sassy. Yeah, I got some power. You wouldn't want to mess with Mike Tyson, I don't know, at the grocery store arguing over the last package of toilet paper. Um, I wouldn't do that. Uh, but uh, I think this is like, almost making him realize when he gets in here that that perhaps not a great idea because then his fortunes turn um but this one looks like he comes out pretty victorious let's see um now the thought crossed my mind because you know my tinfoil hat is always at the ready could this be a um event where they fix it so that mike tyson just wins because oh it's good old nostalgia is this event between Mike and Jake, is it going to be fair? Fair fight, is it? Uh, a lot of money on it. Uh, I don't know how fair it's going to be. Oh shit, Sneaky Snacker showed up. Meow. No, I, I don't think. It's almost like, no. I think there's going to be like, um, my opinion allegedly, odds makers, perhaps people in Vegas who are like doing some things with uh, those odds over there. And then they're like, -da 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 -da. Uh, you need to make a call for this. It's a controversial call over something. And because, you know, we need to get this to go this way. So odds makers, whatever they are, I don't know that this is going to be a fair fight. Uh, who knows who it's supposed to go to? It looked like it's supposed to go to Jake Paul, but I don't know. Mm. Just saying. Just saying. Let's see what else we got. Um, John Bonet Fiend set free early. Gary Oliva, who's claimed he did the crime against John Bonet, was shockingly sprung from his uh, CP prison stint two years early. Okay. I'm, I've already read on that case. I'm not into it anymore. I mean, until we get some actual big news here. Okay. Country music's dirty little secret exposed. Oh, boy. Old stars forced to tour cause records don't pay their bills. Oh, well, this is not a secret, is it? 
Country music greats are working themselves into the grave as plunging album sales force aging legends to hit the road for grueling tours just to keep enough cash coming in. It doesn't pay to cut records anymore. Okay, I don't know that this is a secret. A Spy Notes popular country artist still occasionally puts out a single for a radio or online play, but there is no longer big money in recording full albums. Why do you have Taylor Swift there? Oh, her top sales charts. Yeah, that whole industry is all shady, shady, shady. Uh, George Strait hasn't had an album in five years. That's probably right. Hmm. It's been a while since I've seen George Strait, but I've never seen Willie Nelson, never seen Winona Judd. I don't know who the hell Morgan Wallen is. Jason Aldean, meh, not into it. Okay, well, that's not really a secret now, is it? Okay. Gator bites off dude's hand in a fight over fish. Okay, well, don't fight with a gator over a fish. Zoo gorilla goes bananas, traps two terrified keepers in his pen. Good for you, Elmo. That's the, the gorilla's name. Hollywood hookups. Rupert hears wedding bells. Oh, more octogenarian love. Media, media geezer R Rupert Burdock. That's a mouthful. Is doubling down on getting engaged in his 90s. He's 93. His empire includes Fox News. He's popping the question to a retired Russian-born biologist, Elena Zukova, 67. She'll be wife number five. Oh, let's, please, I got to read now. I, they've sucked me into octogenarian love. Now I need to know. Rupert Murdoch and uh, what's her name? Elena. How is this love match going to go? Yes. Okay. Rupert Murdoch. Can you imagine having to kiss that? Good Lord. He looks like a trout pout. Not a trout pout. I don't know. You know, a saggy fish face. Reminds me of the Sopranos and that fish that was talking, you know, kind of like the Billy Bass thing, but they had the real one when it was, you know, a pussy on the boat and they're going to get rid of, yes. Okay, anyway, let's just see. Rupert and Elena. How's it going to go? Is this true love? <laughs> we got some legal agreements in place right away here. Mm-hmm. She's going to be compensated, allegedly, very well for coming in and being there. There's a nice little friendship here. I think we know that the end is nigh. Yes, and, you know, there's something about um, he might be going to the other side rather sooner than later. And um, I don't know if he, if he has kids or he doesn't like them, but it's almost like he wants to make it so she's in charge of dispersing or overseeing the disbursement even though i know a legal document would do that but i don't know it's kind of like he wants to have her there like she's a trusted resource because he must have assets that everybody's going to be all over it says they're planning a june wedding is he even going to make it to june this is march what 24 i'm recording this let's see are you going to even make it to your own wedding rupert you old geezer don't call him an old geezer. I love him. He's my favorite. All right. Do, 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 do. How many blue pills is he going to need? <laughs> Bring in the cargo van. Oh. Oh, I don't know if he's even going to make it to the, the big shebang. Oh, dear. I don't know if Rupert's going to make it to his shindig at all. Oh, my. No, so I, <laughs> looks like the kids might be fighting sooner than later. <laughs> okay. Don't laugh at geezer's demise. That's mean. I know, I'm terrible. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. I've had enough of that. <laughs> Beware of vitamin B3. Niacin could be a no-no for the heart. All right, whatever. Lasers are new memory and banged up brains. I'm going to need some of that. I love my dog to the moon and back. A Fabergé inspired musical egg. How much does this cost? Oh, only $79.99. What a deal. There's only seven dogs to choose from, though. I had a Datsun. I didn't have these other kind. Where's my German Shepherd? Where's my Shih Tzu? Oh, no. Okay, I had two. There's a Shih Tzu there. Where's my... uh? What was she? Chow Rottweiler. I don't see that. Hm. Kim pushes Odell to be a baby daddy. Now, 
today as I record this. They've broken up already. She wants four buns. Mom wants four. Mama four wants bun. Bun in surrogate's oven. Why can't I read this one today? She's been talking forever about having a fifth baby be a surrogate. And now she's hoping Odell Beckham Jr. will be her dreamy sperm donor. Oh, Jesus. That's a visual I didn't need. All right. What happened between Kim K and Odell Beckham Jr.? They broke up. It wasn't going to last forever. Oh, no. Oh, poor thing. He probably figured out. He's like, mm -mm. you know what happens to those Kardashian men? Don't want to go into that coven. The page of cups? I don't think you wanted to be putting his bun in her oven. Or her surrogate's oven. Mmm. Uh-huh. No, I think she already had cast him for a role, essentially. And he's like, no. Uh-uh. And she's like, oh, and then you can propose to me on the show, and then we'll get married on the show, and it would be one big happy family. And, and no. And he's like, no, I don't want to do this. It's not a love match like that. This is manufactured BS. I don't want any of that. So, uh -uh. He is not down with that. Good for you. Run. Run far away from those people. All right. Perry was a friend in the end. Who's this? Rachel Dunn. Oh, okay. Whatever. What? U.S. zip codes turn up silver for residents. Okay, whatever. What do we have? Nothing, nothing. And the Oscar for most hated Hollywood goes to Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, nobody... Who watches this stuff anymore? Let's see. Did we look at Jimmy Kimmel? Jimmy Fallon? I don't know. I get them all confused. Well, let's look into it again because I can't remember and I won't remember next week. So let's just go with it. Jimmy Kimmel, how's your future in Hollywood? Jimmy Kimmel's future in Hollywood. Is it going down the toilet or on the tube? That didn't really work. Oh, going to be looking for a job soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's very worried. Oh, my. He might be having to put on a dress soon, too. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. If you're wondering about that, there's reading about that in the Moon Moth Manor, AliciaWicker.com. You can go check out. I'm not putting that on too, but you just saying. Um, he's going to have to be um, kissing up to the lords that be of the Eyes Wide Shut gang here because this is <laughs> not going good. He's going to have to decide uh, how much, how badly he needs us. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Couldn't have happened to a nicer a-hole. Right next. He's such a horrendous person. Oh, here's our fashion. Oh, good lord. What? Whoa. Julianne Moore. It's like she's got a stingray on her chest. Kiernan Shipka, Madman Sally Draper. Oh, she's an adult now. Durr. Time flies. I'm old. Okay. Continuing on. Garth buys friends in high places, spends three million to build cop shop next to his Nashville honky tonk. What? He's ensuring his newly opened Nashville bar is clean as a whistle and always a matter. He just dropped three million on his very own police station right next door to ensure 24-7 security. Sounds a little John McAfee-ish. Um, he already paid nearly 50 million for the property he's built the nightclub on. He's figured, what's another few million to help keep, keep his patrons safe and also help out all the other bars in downtown area of Nashville? His singer's club is 54,000 square feet. That's big. But you know what's interesting? <laughs> Tinfoil hat coming. You, you know how they had that rumor? I think someone completely made up the rumor saying that um, every, every time that Garth Brooks went to play a concert that, you know, somebody was taken off the earth plane insinuating that Garth's a murderer. Um, 
But to me, this is this is kind of weird to me about he's financing a substation. It's very much like John McAfee, you know, giving cops their supplies and stuff. So let's see, what's this really about? Is this just to keep his patrons safe because, uh, I don't know, all the dumb Californians have run to Nashville and ruined it? Could be. Or is this about something else? What's up with him? And I thought Garth Brooks had friends in low places, but apparently he don't want them at his place. All right. Garth Brooks, why are you building a police substation? What is your motivation? <laughs> See, Seven of Swords. This is not just... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He wants the police in his hands or at his beck and call or on his side. You got Seven of Swords here. Mm. What the secretive shit are we doing at this club? Allegedly. This, okay, now I'm starting, now the tinfoil hat, I can't help it. Because this is just, I'm thinking we are doing something at this club. It's not just this club, but there might be something in the back or below it. I don't know. Something else is going on with this club. I don't like this. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. This is eyes wide shut shit. Mm. I'm keeping it all in house. Allegedly. Oh. Yeah, we're keeping it in house. Nobody's ever gonna find out about our stuff. We just got our peep right next door. They can keep our secrets, they can help us out with all of our stuff. That's interesting. Challenge. This might be interesting. This might get some... <clears throat> this might not be the best thing for him, I'm saying. There might be somebody who gets in there and wants to start... What? Oh, hold on. Oh, never mind. I'm not taking that call. Um, there might be somebody who wants to start, like, who infiltrates this whole operation. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting on there, there's something shady let's look then damn it now i need to know i need to know if he's in the eyes by checking i mean we know that but let's get out our other deck for this hold on our deck always on standby let's see how it's going <clears throat> is how big how far up into Eyes Wide Shut, you get my drift, is Garth Brooks. Oh, that's upside down. Turn it around. Oh, shit. Well, there's our ow, devil card. Oh, God. Hmm. You know how I've said my opinion that there's like different little divisions that they're all a part of. This division that he's a part of, I would say, would have to do with ninos, ninas. Mm hmm. Harvesting of things. Oh, God. Terrible, terrible. Okay. Now I'm going to side eye Garth Brooks now. Mm mm. This is terrible. This is, yeah. Okay, I don't. I don't even want to look at this anymore, because then this gets inappropriate for. All right, let's continue on. I didn't think I'd stumble onto that in there. Okay, bank heist at Bernie's. Two harebrained Ohio women tried to pull off a real life weekend at Bernie's stunt when cops say they drove their recently deceased roommate's corpse. <laughs> To a bank and withdrew money from his account. Oh my goodness. They shared a home with the 80 year old Douglas Lehman when he 
passed away. The two women got help from a pal who hasn't been identified to load him into the car, strap him upright in the passenger seat, and head to the drive through window. Oh my gosh. That's, isn't that creepy? I'm just saying. Oh, and now we're done. Well, there we go. We've gotten our issue of the Inquirer for this week. So I hope you enjoyed it. Join me in the Moon Moth Manor if you haven't yet. And I hope you have a decent rest of your week. And I will see you next time. Adios.